Harper's Canteen is a fan favorite restaurant here in Magic Kingdom and I hear they have a new menu. So let's go check it out. If you ask someone what their favorite restaurant is in Magic Kingdom, chances are they're gonna say Skipper's Canteen. This restaurant is located in Adventureland and is themed after the Jungle Cruise attraction. So expect that same Jungle Cruise wit from your server and food inspired by Asian, African, and South American cuisine. Now I did mention that this restaurant has some new offerings. So we're gonna kind of sprinkle in some of the new things, try some of my old favorites that have changed a little bit, and yeah, just have a great meal. And it is marathon weekend here at Walt Disney World. So it is super busy. I've been in the parks all weekend with family and the parks have been an absolute madhouse. So when I went to find a reservation for a Skipper Canteen today, I did have some difficulty and when I have difficulty finding Disney dining reservations, I always use mousewatcher.com. Mousewatcher.com helps you find dining reservations. You sign up for the service right on their website and I know you guys have heard me talk about it a bunch, but it truly is an absolute game changer when trying to find dining reservations, especially at a popular restaurant like Skipper Canteen. And I wouldn't keep telling you guys about Mouse Watcher if it wasn't something that I actually use myself. You know, I go to these restaurants, all these restaurants all the time, super often, and it's an absolute lifesaver when trying to find these difficult reservations. And remember, you don't even have to use it for a dining reservation. You could use it for um, specialty activities like building a lightsaber. Bippity Boppity Boutique is a huge one. And I just used it a couple weeks ago to find a reservation for Sangria University. So yeah, link in the description if you guys would like to check it out. And now that we are seated, let's take a look at this menu. Like I mentioned, some things are new and some old favorites of mine have changed a little bit. So we'll take a look together. First off, the appetizers, which we didn't see too much of a change with. It's the usual they have a soup they have I don't even know how to pronounce this at all cachapas it's like a corn cake with some pork on it and then they also have a salad and a falafel and then one of the new things that I'm really interested in is the mess hall fried rice so I had to get that it's a new dish on the menu I love fried rice so this should be really good and then also I went double apps on you guys I also got the Brazilian cheesy bread this is not on the menu it's a secret menu item but it's a it's a must get every time you come to Skipper Canteen. All right, so just like that, our two appetizer choices have come out. Upon first glance, I am realizing that this shrimp fried rice is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. It honestly looks like it's not gonna be that good of a value, but we'll see how it tastes, of course. And then that cheesy bread is looking as good as ever. Let's try the new stuff first. This is the Mess Hall fried rice. It's a favorite of the Skipper's spicy chili garlic shrimp served over pork fried rice with eggs and peas for $16. This does come with five shrimp in total. They gave me the option to add extra shrimp onto it if I wanted to, but since it's just an appetizer, no need for that. So yeah, five shrimp and maybe like the tiniest serving of rice I've ever seen in fried rice. I expected it to be served in a giant bowl, have a good portion for sharing, but honestly this is not, I mean you could totally share it of course, but it, it, it needs more substance in my opinion. This dish has such minimal flavor. It was supposed to be a chili garlic shrimp on top and it literally tastes like shrimp with maybe salt and pepper. I get no garlic, I get no chili, I was hoping for some spice. The fried rice also doesn't have much flavor, not much toy flavor. The lack of seasoning, the lack of flavor along with the very small portion size would make this a skip for me. And I did try and get some like more bites of that to see if maybe there was some flavor hiding somewhere, but there really just isn't. I, I actually want to double check, right? It said the shrimp is chili garlic shrimp. Spicy chili garlic shrimp. There is not a hint of spice in that dish. Not a single hint. Maybe if they brought out some chili oil, that could save it a little bit, but yeah, just as it is, not my favorite. While that shrimp fried rice has let me down, I know something that will not let me down, the cheese bread. Uh, we have a chimichurri sauce here and then a yogurt sauce. So for all you coming at me saying that this is probably a mayo-based sauce, it's not, I asked. Let's get one of our little delectable cheese breads. Go for a dip in that sauce and enjoy. Cheese bread. I love cheese, I love bread. So it's really good. And the sauce. 
the chimichurri is so delicious. It has such a nice like tang. It's very limey. It's honestly the perfect dipping sauce for these little cheese breads. And I will say, I think this cheese bread is better than the one that you can currently get at the Brazil booth for the Food and Wine Festival over in Epcot. This one takes the cake for me. Now that we have devoured those appetizers, let's dive into the entrees here. They have a steak option, a veggie crew stew. They have a char, si char siu pork. They also have a new noodle bowl. The noodle bowl is brand new, and I have heard that it might not be as good as the old noodles that they used to have here. They have a fish of the day, lamb chops, and then my favorite thing on the menu, the taste like chicken because it is. The chicken is my go-to dish pretty much every time I come to this restaurant. I get it. I really, really enjoy it. It's like a fried chicken. They did change it up a little bit, though. This is one of the things that has changed. It used to be served with rice, and now it's served with grits. So I got it, had to try it out, and uh, we'll see how it is. This is the Taste Like Chicken because it is. It's crispy fried chicken, honey harissa vinaigrette, roasted onions, corn, and cabbage with creamy grits for $28. And yeah, this is definitely quite different from what it was in the past. When I came years ago, it used to be like a bone-in uh, piece of chicken breast with, I think either like the thigh, it might have been like a breast with the wing attached, something. I, I, is it called like an airline chicken breast? I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it used to be that fried um, and then served over rice. And then when I came back a couple months ago, they, were, they didn't have the bone in it anymore. And it was just a big chicken breast over the rice. And now they've definitely changed it up. It is three humongous chicken tenders, I think, fried, and then they have a ton of seasoning on it, and then that harissa honey vinaigrette. Um, it looks really, really good. I know Ryan got the same thing. He's already tried it, and he, he seems to like it. So I definitely wanna dig into this chicken first, and it's that same crispiness that I remember. It's almost like a tempura battered and fried chicken. It's not like your typical fried chicken with flour. I wonder, it might be like rice flour. I don't know, I gotta ask. But let's try this chicken here. That's good. That's a good base. Still super crispy. I really love the flavor of the seasoning. I wanna get, I wanna get another piece with more of that vinaigrette here. Let's see. I imagine the vinaigrette to taste kind of similar to the vinaigrette that you get at Chipotle, which I really like. It's a honey harissa vinaigrette, so maybe like a little spice, a little sweet, we'll see. <laughs> I like it. I really like the vinaigrette, and I really like this new chicken. It is definitely heavily seasoned. I think the portion is ginormous. Like, when I say chicken tenders, I'm not just talking like a little chicken tender. These chicken tenders are huge. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this all myself. We still haven't even gotten to these grits underneath, which replaced the rice that this used to come with. So, I don't know, let's see. They're very gritty. I've never had a grit like that. Very gritty. <laughs> Usually when I have grits, they're like very creamy and like they don't have much texture. It's just kind of like mush. I don't know if you can see. Can't even zoom in on it. Yeah, this dish is pretty gritty. It's pretty gritty. I don't know if you can see, but it's almost like the texture and consistency of like a whole grain mustard. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I definitely think the rice was better though, but I just had some rice, so I don't need any more rice. I don't know. I'm, I'm digging the new dish. If I'm remembering correctly, this dish used to be served with like some bok choy, I think, on the side. Now it's served with like some corn, some cabbage. I don't know. I'm not seeing any of those onions that was supposed to be in it. Oh, I see some okra too. But I mean, it's good. I like the I like these veggies on the side. 
One thing I will say about this chicken is that the more that I eat it, the like soggier it's getting because there was a ton of that uh, vinaigrette on it. So I will say it might be a good idea to get the vinaigrette on the side so the chicken stays super crispy as you eat and then you can dip it in as you go, which is what Ryan did. My brother, what a smart guy. Now as I'm eating this dish, I'm kind of realizing that some of you guys might be a little turned off by it because you might think it's spicy. The red flavor and like the seasoning that they toss the chicken in looks like it's very reminiscent of like Nash hot chicken but it's not it is not spicy it just adds a really delicious flavor and yeah I'm I'm really really enjoying this chicken I can't believe I'm saying this but I think I like it more than the old version and I would even say it's the best entree that you could get in Magic Kingdom right now I thought it was a total upgrade the sauce the seasoning the crispiness it was all delicious but we're gonna end off on a sweet note there's like three desserts on the menu here, but none of them really stand out to me. So what I usually get here is the kids meal dessert. They have these banana bites. My friend Allie actually introduced them to me and I've been getting them ever since. These are essentially just chocolate covered frozen bananas. They're served with a little um, cream in the middle and then a little bit, little bites of like pistachio cake. I don't know, it's only 325 and it's just like the perfect sweet ending to a meal here at Skipper Camp. Canteen. If you're a fan of bananas, I recommend you checking this out. Like I said, it's like 3.25, so why not? Why not end with some chocolate? So I really, really love this meal. Honestly, like Kristen said, one of my favorite entrees here at Magic Kingdom as well. This chicken is amazing, but what I love more than the food is the amazing hidden details that are all over this restaurant for the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. If you know any about anything about this, just literally take a walk for yourself and find all the little hidden details. Indiana Jones stuff is in here. It's super crazy and I'm, I'm, I love it, I love it. Now since my video is mainly focused on the food, I'm not gonna walk around and show you guys all of those little hidden details to those old downtown Disney kind of references, Indiana Jones references. If you guys wanna see them, uh, head over to Ryan's channel. He's posting a video which is gonna have a ton more detail about the decor in this restaurant than mine. The link to his video is gonna be in the description. You know what, thank you so much for the plug, Kristen. I have something for you. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, a fresh hundo. Yep. Well, I am stuffed from lunch. I am very, very impressed with some of the new stuff at Skipper Canteen. Obviously, with every restaurant, there's gonna be some things that you enjoy and some things that you don't. And I am always gonna give my honest opinion. Not a fan of that fried rice. I've heard it's very popular though. So, I don't know, maybe I just caught it on a bad day. And then that chicken was impressive. I really enjoyed it. It was seasoned well, it was crispy, it was juicy. Huge fan, must get entree here in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I'll definitely be back for it. But that is not all we are doing today. We are also gonna be riding the Jingle Cruise. It is finally Christmas season here in Magic Kingdom or starting to be Christmas season here in Magic Kingdom. So the Jungle Cruise has transformed into the Jingle Cruise. We're gonna head over there and ride it. The Jingle Cruise is a holiday overlay of the Jungle Cruise and I haven't ridden it yet this year. It comes out about every beginning of November and stays through the holiday season. The skippers will kind of tell holiday based jokes oh, lights. So it's definitely a fun addition to Magic Kingdom for the holiday season. Well, we just got off the Jungle Cruise and uh, I didn't have like the best seat to be able to get some good videos on it. I was kind of sitting in the back corner. So it's hard to get some videos, but the jokes are good, they're Christmas themed, and I don't know, it's just like a fun, a fun thing to do. I wish more attractions at Disney World kind of did holiday overlays during the regular park hours, just like the Jingle Cruise. But after that ride on the Jingle Cruise, we are gonna be done here today in Magic Kingdom. You can see all of the Christmas decor behind me getting pumped up for Christmas and make sure to keep an eye out because I will be here on the first night of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and then on the first night of Jolly Holiday. Gonna be a busy weekend for me but I will have your foodie guides to both of those events coming out soon. Also I wanna make sure to mention before I head out today that over on Shop LBV on TikTok, on the TikTok shop, there is currently a 30% off coupon off of your entire order. You could order one shirt, two shirts, five shirts, 10 shirts, 
30% off of everything. The deal is crazy. Just go to shop LBV on TikTok or visit the link in my bio. If you visit the link in my bio, you will get the discount, but go to shop LBV on TikTok and you will get 30% off your whole order. It's, a, it's an insane deal. I also want to shout out some Patreon members, Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Misty, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Kara, Angela, Dustin and Nancy, John, Paul, Leah, Tracy, Loco, Armando, the Latham Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, Daniela, Marcel, Erica, Linda, and Mike. And yeah, hopefully you guys get a chance to check out Skipper Canteen. I really enjoyed my meal and will be back. Also, make sure to check out Mouse Watcher if you are looking for those dining reservations or those specialty kind of reservations like the Bippity Boppity Boutique, Lightsaber Building, Sangria University, Fireworks Dessert Parties. They can all be found on Mouse Watcher. They can help you find them. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.